Next up, we are going to talk about the alignment in our files as it relates to any of our text. Um, so first up, I want you to notice over here that the callouts that I have a crossing leader line. And I just want to demonstrate this to say that that is the number one thing. Do not ever cross a leader line because they're too difficult to read. Just don't do it, period. So I'm going to come over here, just click and drag that angle so that it's back to 180 degrees. So now I want to introduce you to um, the alignment command. And there is one specific alignment for callouts in particular. So to use that tool, I'm going to need to select all of my callouts. And there is a keyboard shortcut that can help me do that. By holding down the Alt key and then clicking and dragging, it's going to select um, anything that my cursor passes through. And so before, the way that we've been using it is just a big marquee selection. And so in order to select anything, that marquee has to be all the way around the object. But it can be nice just to be able to pass the cursor through an object once and have it selected. So once again, that shortcut is the Alt key, click and drag, and then I've been able to select all of my callouts. So now I'm going to go up to the Modify menu, then I'm going to go to Align, and Align Distribute Leader Lines. And so here's a little bit about the anatomy of a callout. So this first point that we have right here, this is a shoulder point. And then the second point is a label point. And so remember, um, we were looking at the tool preferences as well as the object info palette for our callouts. And this right here is the shoulder, and we were able to set the distance of that shoulder in both of those places. And so essentially what we're going to tell the computer to do is that for horizontal alignment, what we want is for the shoulder points right here, as well as the label points, we want those all to line up. And I don't normally use vertical distribution very often. Um, I find that the software usually messes something up rather than fixing everything. So I just manually control vertical distribution, but you are welcome to play with that feature if you would like to. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And then up here in the mode bar, notice that it's prompting me to draw a line to be used as a reference. And so whatever line I draw over here is going to be the line where that shoulder point lines up. And so I'm just going to click in the drawing and then hold down the shift key because that will keep the line constrained. I won't have any weird angles to it. Click a second time. So occasionally when I'm making these videos, something will happen um, in a way that's different than what I was anticipating, and that alignment didn't look like what I thought it should look like at all. And so I stopped the video, figured out what the problem was, but I'd like to walk you through what happened so that you can better understand the tool. So I'm going to walk through that step one more time, go to Modify, Align, Align Distribute Leader Lines. Yes, I want um, both the shoulder point and the label point to align. Click OK, and then I'm going to draw that line. And what I was expecting was for all of my all of the text blocks to come in over here and instead it pushed them out. And so I was looking to see why that happened. If I do a control Z to back out of that and then I click on this top call out, if I scroll down here, I can see that that shoulder length is really long. And so what happened was the um, by executing that command, it copied this shoulder length because all of my other shoulder lengths are smaller. So I've got two feet there and two feet there. So I think it just went ahead, whatever that shoulder length was for the top call out in the stack, it just matches all of the other shoulder lengths to that. If I don't want a 27 foot shoulder length here, I can go ahead and just change it to two. Then let's come back over here, select all of the call outs that we want to align, go to the modify menu, go to align, and align distribute leader lines. I still want to go ahead and align both the shoulder points as well as the label points. So I'll click OK. Then I will click, hold down shift, and then click again further on down the page. And that's what I was expecting to see. Callouts are not the only thing that you can align in your file. Um, any of the objects in your file can be aligned. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean up some of my labeling in here so that it looks a little better. For instance, I can come over here and move these. I can move these uh, text blocks around in the drawing so it looks a little bit nicer. And then let's say that I want this text block and that text block to align in the middle. 
What I can do is select both of them by holding down the shift key in between clicks, then right clicking for the context menu, and then come over here to align distribute. Now we can still go up to that modify menu the same way that we did to align the callouts. I do want you to note that um, the align, align distribute leader lines is not available from the right click context menu. So you'll always have to go up to that modify menu to use that on callouts. But for anything else in the file, you can always right click for the context menu. And on this one, what I'd like to do is just to align middle. And then if I want, I can click and drag both of those down so that that label is more in the green. Let's do this again. I'm gonna come over here to these two planting area text blocks, right click for context menu then go to Align Distribute, and this time I'm gonna have them align left. And so that just lines them up. And so you can kind of go through your file and move things around. Let's go ahead and align these. I'm gonna um, align these to the top. Um, so it's a fun tool to play around with. It also makes your file look a little bit cleaner and more organized.